Welcome to another week of Valpo Football Preview. Todd Eichel with you, as always, visiting with uh, head football coach Dale Carlson. As the Crusaders get set to uh, travel down to Macon, Georgia, to take on a first-year program in Mercer. Maybe don't know as much about them as some of the previous uh, weeks, but, but coach, this is not a normal first-year program. They've already won four football games, and it's going to be a real good test for you guys. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know, they're 4-1 coming into the year, 1-1 one one in the PFL, just like we are. They got a big win over Drake two weeks ago. Uh, down at uh, Macon, uh, at Macon, Georgia, uh, they did lose to San Diego this week out in California. But uh, as you said, it's not your typical first-year program. Uh, they've had a lot of success, and uh, you know we're going to have our hands full on Saturday. And do I understand they eventually will become a scholarship program? Is it the plans for them? Yeah, I, you know I think they kind of knew that uh, all along, and they were just waiting for an opportunity for the Southern Conference to uh, you know have some slots come available, okay. which. They do next year. They will be in the Southern Conference. They're leaving the PFL only after one year. So some of these kids who are not on scholarship now would be scholarship players perhaps next year? Well, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what the plan is uh, for them to be able to compete in the league. Uh, if they had anybody on scholarship, they're not allowed to play them in the PFL games. Right. So I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do with them next year, but uh, you know, we're just kind of focusing on what we're going to do this year against them. From what they've done so far, it looks like they, they run the ball a lot. They've got a, a smallish running back. They see about 160 pounds, averaging about 100 yards a game, uh, Peyton Usher. Uh, it seems that that's the strength of their team. Yeah, no doubt about it. Usher is an excellent runner, and if he gets out in the open field, he's going to run away from you. He is fast, which you would think, you know, being in the middle of Georgia, you'd be able to find some of those kids that, that can do that. Uh, but we can't, we can't just be focused on the run because they're, uh, while they're not maybe throwing the ball quite as much as they are running the ball, I think their completion percentage is somewhere up in the 60% range. So they are making some plays throwing the football as well. And, and really, they're, they're doing what a lot of teams try and do, spread the field, Try and force you to declare what you want to take, and then they're going to challenge you. You know, in either run or pass. San Diego looked like they had really good success throwing the ball against them. Now San Diego's got a very good offense, obviously a veteran quarterback in Mills, uh, but you guys can throw the football. And I guess last week, not indicative of what your offense can do. You guys obviously need to play better offensively. But here's a team that, if there is a kink, uh, they struggle. Uh, playing past defense. Well, and, and they have, and um, you know that has shown to be the strength of our of our team so far this year. And we've got to get our passing game, you know, back on track. We were out of sync uh, last week uh, against Marist, and we've got to get that fixed uh, as we get on to play Mercer. Marist had a lot to do with that, though, as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, Marist is is one of the best defenses in the PFL, and and uh, they responded very very well. We didn't, and so you know our task this week is is to is to respond and, and to play the way that we're capable of playing. One more point on the offense. You know, now you're without Jake Hudson, and you've got some other guys filling in. Brandon Hall did did some impressive runs for you at Marist, and he's a guy who you know it looks like with his size he can be there to carry the load for you when needed. You know, I, I, I think that's true. I wish we would have had a little bit more opportunity. If we wouldn't have gotten down, we could have, uh, you know, run the ball a little bit more because we really did have some pretty decent success running the ball in there. And, and you know, that, again, is, is real positive. If you can run and pass uh, in our offense, um, hopefully, uh, you know, we can take advantage of what the defense is trying to take away and, and execute those plays. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks, Todd. Head coach, Dale Carlson. We'll see you next week on Valpo Football Preview.